Hey guys, uh, I'm out here at Folsom Lake this morning. It's a beautiful morning and obviously I am not in my kayak. Um, as much as I love my Hobie Outback and as much as I love to fish it and as much luck as I've had out here, super exciting news. Um, Cal and I have been working for a long time with the awesome folks up at Duckworth Boats in, in Washington as well as the guys down here at Gone Fish and Marine and we put together a deal to get a brand new 2020 sponsored Duckworth Advantage Sport. Um, I, I can't tell you how excited I am to have this platform. This is our second time on the water. I brought it out the other night, ran the motor, broke everything in, went through the electronics package, make sure everything worked. And then this morning I'm out here with my son Jacob and for the first time we've got lines in the water. We're kind of shaking everything down and we're actually fishing. But this platform is gonna change the way we bring content to you guys. It's gonna, it's gonna give us an opportunity to work a lot more in depth on how we set things up, how we rig things and walk you through our process when we're on the water. It's gonna allow us to go farther places, spend more time on places, get in depth in places. So Cal and I can't tell you how excited we are to have it and we have just a ton of content coming. And uh, I gotta steer for a second here. As you can tell, uh, I'm driving standing on the stern of the boat with the trolling motor on the bow of the boat. That's just one of the many killer features that this boat offers to us. Um, there's definitely more to come. I'm gonna put together a package that kind of breaks down all the electronics and show you how we have the boat rigged before we even put it on the water. It's got all kinds of bells and whistles, stuff that you should know about, um, all brand new features that haven't been available in the past that'll help you catch more fish, help us catch more fish. So, I, man, I, I am stoked. Stay tuned, there is more to come for sure. So we moved over by the dam, um, we dropped our gear, we changed up a little bit. We're trolling on the big motor now, which uh, just dropped in gear right about 2.2 miles an hour. That's perfect for what we're doing, chasing kings right now. I just have a, a couple of hoochie sets out with big sling blades. And, uh, it's been a while since I caught a king at Folsom, but we're in the spot where they should be if they're here. And uh, we got the right gear out and we're going the right speed. But what I really want to talk about is Gone Fish and Marine really hooked us up. Um, starting with the downriggers. Uh, I, I've had a whole bunch of different types of downriggers on many different boats, including my kayak over a long period of time. But I gotta say, in just the two days I've been playing with these, I, I've really fallen in love with them. They're super cool. This is a Canon Digitrol 10 downriggers. Um, we have a matched pair. A couple really cool features that I've never had before on a downrigger. First of all, they have their own transducer and they show their own depth. Um, so I can just glance at the downrigger, know exactly what my depth is, Right now it says 216. I look at our Humminbird unit, it says 215. So they're, they're dialed in, they're exact. Um, no problem tracking at this speed, trolling along. Um, that's a really, really awesome feature. A couple really cool features is the auto up and the auto down. Um, you push a button once your release pops. Don't worry about the downrigger. It's up when you want it to be up. Going down, it's a powered down motion. It doesn't rely on the brake going down, so it's a it's a controlled down. It's very easy to let out line, very easy to feed the line off your reel as you're going down. Um, that's a cool feature. I haven't had that before either. I've always relied on the braking for going down, like in my kayak where it's manual, and, and, and man, this is a super, super upgrade. Um, they have the dual setup with the with the rod holders, if we wanted to stack, we certainly could. Wouldn't be a problem at all. Not doing that right now, still kind of getting everything dialed in, but you'll see some of that soon. Um, the other thing that's really cool, the swivel bases, uh, they allow you to adjust the swivel at any point. Um, there's like a, a whole bunch of different points where it locks in at. And then telescoping booms. These booms telescope like six feet out, which is a lot. Um, I don't know that I'll ever be telescoping them any farther than they are right now, but I can see if you were running multiple downriggers on, on one side of a boat and you had a four pack of downriggers, it, that would be a really, really cool feature. Um, so I, I like these things. They're just fantastic. And I've literally only been trolling with them for a couple hours, but man, what a difference it makes. Another feature that we're just starting to play with that we haven't really dialed in yet is the auto track feature. Um, you can set a depth on the bottom and tell it to stay at a certain depth off the bottom and it will automatically track that. Not such a big deal out here at Folsom with what we're doing today, but I could imagine places where you want to be three, six, maybe 10, 12 feet off the bottom consistently and the bottom not, is not even. 
that's gonna be awesome. Um, I can't wait to try that out when we get up into some of the Sierra Lakes and do that. So we'll go into a little bit more depth on what we use for clips and balls and weights and when to use weights and that kind of stuff. But um, man, I, I can't tell you enough how, how cool these are. And the other thing, just walking around the boat, starting with the downriggers and all the other electronics we're gonna get into, the guys at Gone Fishing Marine know what they're doing. Every nut, every screw, every wire, it is perfect. This thing, they, they, they took their time and meticulously made sure that all the wiring is in place, works perfectly, and, and man, it's such a clean job. I, I haven't seen a, a boat that's rigged like this as clean as this one is ever before. So certainly if you got, you got stuff like that to take care of, Gone Fishing Marine's a place to go to get it done. Alright, so um, now we're up, running up the South Fork of the American. We're just kind of jumping all over the lake trying to figure out uh, if we can spot fish. We haven't had a whole lot of luck finding any fish yet. No bait, no nothing. What we have found is a lot of other boats on the water. Um, obviously Sunday afternoon at noon on a beautiful day. Yeah, we're getting some rocking action now. There are, um, there are a lot of pleasure boaters out here. But uh, that's okay. Uh, one of the cool things is we have all kinds of room on the boat. We can spread out. Um, trolling's not so bad, even with the waves, our gear is solid, everything works. So um, even in, in not the greatest conditions, we're out here fishing, which is great. Um, probably wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have, you know, a platform that was as stable and as solid as this and, and with killer gear to be doing it on a Sunday afternoon. But one of the things I really want to talk about is the Minn Kota. You can see it over my shoulder, the head of it out there, I think probably. We're actually trolling on that motor right now. Um, it's the Minn Kota Ultera. Uh, it's, a, it's an 80 pound motor. There's, there's two batteries up there that power it. It's 24 volts. A couple really fantastic features. I've, I've known about this motor for a while. I'm sure some of you have probably seen the videos on it. Um, it's, it's the magic self-deploy model that, that they have where the guy backs off the ramp and hits a button on the, on the remote in his pocket and the boat drives itself off the ramp and or off the trailer and, and holds itself. Um, well, this has that feature. I'm not brave enough to use it yet, but there are a couple other really cool things that I have been using. Right now, we have autopilot on. So we set a depth and a course, and the motor's just doing its thing. It's trucking along about 1.6 miles an hour. Um, our gear's in the water behind us, and it's just gonna follow that course for as long as we tell it to. Um, and you can control it with the touchscreen remote, which is fantastic, works anywhere around the boat. Um, connectivity is no problem at all. It hasn't lost its connectivity. There's a really cool indicator screen that shows how fast we're going, which direction it's going. It's very simple. If I want to turn the boat, um, I can just push a button and make a slight course adjustment. So I just turned it 10 degrees to, to the left so I can feel the boat already making that adjustment now. Um, pretty awesome stuff. I don't know, battery power, it has the maximizer circuit that Minn Kota's run for a long time. It should go a long time on the battery. I don't know how far, I haven't had it out long enough to know. I think a lot of our trolling is still going to happen on the main motor. We'll probably use the Minn Kota to steer. Oh wow, look at this, we got a big duck with a bunch of young ladies flying by in the water. That's kind of fun, that's a first today. Um, you might get a shot of it in the camera if they come past us here. Anyway, back to the Minn Kota. Um, the battery power should be a long time. I imagine I can do what I'm doing right now for a six or eight hour day. Um, and, and it has all kinds of battery meters on it. It, it ha honestly hasn't moved all day long and we've, we've been trolling on it quite a bit for a couple hours at least, if not more. So um, I think there's quite a bit of reserve there. Obviously, I, I wouldn't rely on that for, for propulsion full time. I'd like to, to get the big motor dialed in so we could troll down to slower speeds on it. But right now we're just playing with everything and the Minn Kota's doing its job for us. When you want to raise the motor, it's super slick. You hit one button, it raises itself, it stows itself, um, and then when you hit the deploy button, it goes right back to the settings it was on before, which is pretty cool. Um, you don't have to go through the bow, you don't have to climb up there, there's no strings, no latch. It's pretty awesome. It's on one of Minn Kota's very cool quick release plates. So when I get home, if I want to pull the trolling motor off, don't want to leave it out if I'm camping or in a hotel room for the night or on the road, there's, there's one pin, the entire motor lifts off. It's not terribly heavy. It's definitely light enough for one person to lift it off the bow of the boat when it's on trailer. Um, it's, it's just a phenomenal unit. And again, rigged up by Gone Fishing Marine. 
uh, they put in two interstate batteries which are under the bow right underneath where I'm sitting there's also a Pro Mariner dual bank charger they rigged a really cool AC plug that you can't see but it's right outside the the front of the, the hatch here um, and, it, and it has a pretty long extension cord so you can plug it into AC when I get home it charges the batteries it's maintenance free you don't even think about it just leave them plugged in it'll shut off when it needs to and charge when it needs to really great surface charger and a really great float charger so um, it, it's pretty solid, man. I, I, I can't say enough about how impressed I am with it so far. I wish I knew how to use all the buttons, but, um, but we're learning. That's what we're out here for. One thing, if we want to pan the camera to the left really, really quick, or to your right, um, we have a Humminbird Helix 9, and I'm going to talk in depth about this unit. I, I've only been playing with it for a few hours, but have learned a ton. One thing that's really cool is it has a direct connection to the iPilot on the trolling motor. So right now I need to change course and turn a little bit to our north. So I'm just going to go ahead and bump the button three times. And you can see right away the boat's already turning, making a pretty sharp turn actually. So um, you can control speed, you can control on and off, iPilot, you can turn the autopilot on and off. And then you can, uh, you can also stow and deploy the motor right from your Minn Kota unit which when it's on a bad rainy cold day on the Delta and I don't want to climb out there or don't want to get wet, pretty, pretty awesome. Um, always have the remote in your pocket too. They both work side by side. They work exactly the same. Pretty cool setup. So um, we'll get into more on depth on that as we, uh, as we get going here. But uh, man, this boat is freaking cool guys. I can't wait to put a fish in it and show you how that works.